Welcome to the first Sunday of Lent. I am Pastor Jane Vaughn, and I'm here today uh, to talk to you about the devotional from Taking Back Lent. In Matthew 18, 21 and 22, Peter asked Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? And Jesus replied, not seven times, but I tell you, 70 times seven times. You know, we're much like Peter. We want to forgive those who've sinned against us, but we also want to be proud of how much we've forgiven others. Look how very special we think we are. Jesus is telling Peter that counting is irrelevant. Just do it. Forgiving others is challenging. We know God forgives us of our sins when we sincerely ask and repent, but we often have a hard time forgiving others. Think about all the stuff that you carry around, the resentments, the self-justifying, the pity. Have you ever considered how all that garbage is weighing you down? You drag it around like a stinking sack of potatoes, rotting. Today, I want to get rid of it. If the master of the universe is quick to forgive you, shouldn't you be quick to forgive others as well? So here's today's activity. Try this and see if you can get rid of some of that garbage. Sit in a quiet place where you can close your eyes, uncross your legs, put your hands in your lap, and concentrate. I want you to think first of a receptacle. Now, my favorite is a trunk, one of those old Victorian trunks with a curved top. After you have chosen your receptacle, you can put it aside. Now, this is the, the hard part. Spend some time bringing out and lining up your resentments, your anger, those hurts, those arguments with others. Perhaps someone wounded you with their ugly words or you hurt someone with your words. Bring it out line it up, and name each one. You know, you can take all the time you need to do that. Now, after you've done all that, and again, take all the time you need, now get your receptacle and start putting each resentment, each anger, each hurt, into that box or trunk or suitcase, whatever it is that you've chosen as your receptacle. I want you to seal it up or lock it. Just get it shut some way or another. And the really hard part comes now. I want you to ask God to take it from you. Ask God to hide it somewhere, put it completely out of your reach. He will take it from you. Breathe slowly for just a few seconds. Now, thank God for taking it and putting it where you can never find it again. And rejoice. 
Rejoice that you feel lighter. You feel more joyful. God has taken your garbage from you and you are free of it. Jesus frees us from our sins and from the sins of others. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining me today in our Taking Back Lent series. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sabbath.